Hello and welcome to Maxim Foods Inside Track. Can you believe it? First week of July, on to the second half of the year already. Hope everyone in the Northern Hemisphere enjoying a, a good summer. Uh, been a mild start to the winter here in Australia. Uh, so what's going on around the world? I guess English and Australian relations uh, are a bit strained at the moment due to the cricket. Uh, however, the score remains 2-0 to Australia. Let's have a look at the dairy industry. Kicking off with whole milk powder, so not a lot of excitement on the GDT last night. Uh, we've seen the last two months since the start of May, uh, basically the, the GDT flatlining, so which shows that supply and demand uh, are finally balanced. Uh, supply has been uh, good from last year in New Zealand uh, and the start of the season is looking to kick off uh, well as uh, also. So milk supply is there, demand is there for the minute, keeping uh, pricing relatively steady. Having a look at skim milk powder, not a lot of bullish signs in the skim market. Uh, the EU was uh, showing some signs of recovery uh, about a month ago, some big global tenders uh, gobbling up um, European supply. However, that seems to have steadied now. Uh, in the US, uh, also some relatively stable conditions a month back. Uh, we have seen some easing in demand and supply still reasonable reasonably good. In the uh, New Zealand Australian market supply uh, is good, um, the skim and butter mix still uh, is favourable for processors uh, against just running straight whole milk so supply has been steady and demand waning off a bit so yeah like I uh, said about a fortnight ago there basically uh, hasn't been a lot of movement in skim uh, since November of 22 so it seems to be trading in about a, a 200 US band um, on the GDT so yeah not a lot of movement uh, and doesn't seem to be any bullish signs that would um, suggest that the market will rise uh, anytime soon. Moving across to butter, if we could look at it globally in the US, uh, pricing stable, uh, supply is good uh, for butter and, and demand is steady, uh, obviously being the summer months, uh, demand for cream, ice cream, etc. Uh, over there has been good, so has sort of held up and, and kept butter on an even keel. In the EU, uh, retail demand hasn't been too bad, so we're seeing pricing remain relatively stable as well. Uh, Last night we saw on the GDT uh, a 10% decrease on butter so yeah it's been a volatile commodity over the last uh, three months since the start of May it's risen about 12 to 13% and then we saw that correction last night. As an overall view on butter fat there's still um, it's still the more hotter demand of the commodities at the moment so outlook is to think that things will stabilize. Moving across to cheese, uh, globally in the EU we've uh, seen some slightly bullish conditions there on the back of, of retail and food service. Um, in the US uh, things had been on the decline pricing, uh, however we've seen a, a bit of recovery, a bit more stable demand uh, domestically and uh, in, in Latin America. For the Australian New Zealand conditions, uh, supply still good um, of cheese. We did see uh, a slight decline in demand uh, locally on food service and retail cheese. Uh, with the Reserve Bank's decision to pause interest rates uh, yesterday, we may see a bit more optimism and, and we should see conditions pick up uh, in the next two to three months. Hence demand uh, hopefully will recover. Finally looking at whey powder and whey derivatives, we've got uh, some good steady cheese production globally, uh, hence um, good supply of, of whey powder. So on sweet whey things are still relatively bearish, uh, no real signs of any uptick in demand. Uh, in protein, we've seen some positive signs uh, on WPC in the EU with demand picking up and, and pricing uh, following. In summary, still bearish conditions uh, globally on dairy. Uh, supply is, uh, is still good uh, across the globe and demand is there but relatively flat uh, against uh, last year. Thanks very much for listening to today's Inside Track. Look forward to seeing you in a fortnight's time.